What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to remove the door for your ISO box. Now there is another setup we can use with the ISO box by removing the front door here. To do that, we're gonna look for these hinges here for the door of the ISO box. And we can do this with one corner at a time, but we're basically gonna take the corner of the door here where the first hinge is. So we'll do this one corner at a time and very carefully, I'm gonna start with the top corner here. I'm gonna grab the door right here and pull it from the hinge very carefully again, like this. So that covers the first hinge here, and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the second one here with the bottom corner of the door. Again, pull it very carefully so that it gets removed from the hinge, just like that. And now you'll see that we have full access to the inside of the ISO box. So this is just another setup option if you wanted to sing more directly to the microphone while it's sitting inside of the box. But if you still wanted to avoid the plosives while recording with your mic, we can add an external pop filter. To do that, we're just going to open up the clamp here at the bottom of our pop filter. We're then gonna line up the clamp to the stand inside of the ISO box. And once it's lined up the way we want, we're gonna tighten up the clamp to lock it in place. And then we're just gonna bring the pop filter up to the microphone like this, and now we're all set. And if you wanted to reattach the door to the ISO box, you're just gonna line up these hinges here to the hinges on the side of the ISO box like this. And then we're just gonna push these hinges in together until it clicks into place, just like that. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to remove the door for your ISO box. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.